Hi there. <sighs> Memphis Vinyl Jim and the Misses. This is a um, um, entry in your competition, your April competition. Um, each month you're doing a contest, which is insane, which I love, but it's insane. Um, and this was one about the Stones, and I didn't know whether or not I should participate because I'm not a big Stones fan. So I did. The music you're hearing in the background, kind of hearing in the background, I might put a little harder. It's Jill Beto Jill's self titled album from 1971. It's on my computer. I love it. Amazing Brazilian folk music. Folk rock, pop rock, whatever. Anyway, stones. You asked, um, show us your stones. And I have several Stones albums, but I decided to show just the ones that I really, really enjoy. Um, I forgot one. I'm not going to pick it up. It's Let It Bleed up there. I like that as well, but these are my favorites, so I'm going to show them. Aftermath, which is an original 66, um, 1966 stereo copy. This and the next one I found at various Goodwills. This is Between the Buttons, original stereo copy from 1967. Um, I, lo I like, I really, really like the early, early stuff that they uh, put out. Uh, just that mid to late 60s sound that I like. My favorite album of theirs is their Satanic Majesty's Request, which is not the 3D uh, cover, it's just the normal boring ass. I'm 3D, see, it doesn't work. Um, but I like this a lot. This is my favorite. This is probably one of the first Stones albums that I picked up. Um, it's got my favorite songs on it. She's a Rainbow and 2000 Light Years From Home. It's amazing. Um, it's, it's, of course, a rip-off of Sgt. Pepper. And they're trying too hard to be psychedelic, but it's still great songwriting. It's, it's great, great tracks. Um, so that's my favorite Stones album with some of my favorite Stones songs. Um, you also kind of wondered, wanted to know what your favorite Stones character is. <laughs> um, I call them characters. Um, it was quite easy to just dismiss the one after the other. Mick Jagger, great frontman, but he's not my favorite. Uh, same goes for Keith Richards, not my favorite. Um, it's Charlie Watts, you know, he makes drumming seem boring. He's a great drummer, but when I see him perform in either some clips or live performances, he seems to be very fucking bored. Um, it's his way of drumming, I know that, but it's, it's, it's kind of weird. So, not really a favorite. That leaves, from the original lineup, two members. Um, one is, um, Jesus. Brian Jones. Uh, Brian Jones is an interesting character. He's not, not really my favorite. He's second favorite, if you will. But he's very interesting because of his... His story, uh, the way he got, what, the way he died, um, under mysterious circumstances. That's fascinating. That's interesting. Um, it, it just doesn't. It comes close to being my most interesting Stones character. But my favorite one and it is Bill Wyman, simply because he just said, "Fuck you all, I'm leaving," and he kind of already saw it happening that Stones would say this is our last tour and then they would tour again and then say this is our last tour and then they would tour again etc 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 and he just doesn't he didn't feel that you know, he just wanted to do his own thing or just relax and you know enjoy his, his pension which is admirable for him so that's why he's my favorite Stones person so that's it. It's short. Uh, didn't want to do a long video. I'm going to do one soon. That's a 
final update. But thank you again for just doing these videos, doing these contests. Um, I'll try to enter every single one if the question is, if I'm able to answer the question. So, two of you are awesome. So, bye bye.